In this video here, we're going to continue practicing piecewise functions. So in example two, it is giving us a piecewise function and notice there are three lines here. So that means there are three equations in this piecewise function. And remember that the right hand side where the inequalities are, are your testers. They tell you which equation to use based off that inequality, based off the X value that you're plugging in. So uh, I'm gonna just split that there so that way we can see that this is the equations and these are our inequalities. So first off, we have F of three. So that's saying that X here is three. And so if X equals three, which one of these actually says that X can equal three? Well, it's the second equation here because that inequality sign has an equal sign or a line saying that it can equal three. So we're using the second equation. So in this case, we're going to be plugging in three into X minus three. So that would be three minus three, which gives us zero as our answer. The next one here we have is f of seven. So which one of these says that x can be seven? Well, it's the third one here because seven is greater than three. So we're gonna be using the third equation. And so if I plug that in, that's going to be three times seven minus 15, because that's three x minus 15, so that seven goes where that x is. And if we multiply this out, this would give us 21 minus 15, which gives me six. And then that is my final answer. All right, last but not least, we have f of negative three. So when x is negative three, it would have to fall into the first equation because negative three is less than negative one. So we're gonna have to use the first equation, but I want you to notice something special about this equation here. So this is saying that um, there is no X to plug in. Notice that there's not an X with this equation, whereas the other two did have an X. So if there's not an X to plug in, guess what? That is the output. That means when X is negative three, it's automatically going to be negative two. So this answer here is just negative two. Because one of the things we have to understand is that each one of these equations represents the Y. Right? That means y equals negative 2, the other one would have been y equals x minus 3, and this one would have been y equals 3x minus 5. So let's just rethink about c again. If x equals negative 3, I had to choose this equation, and I needed to find the y value, well the y value here is negative 2. So if there's not an x there, just take the value and use that as your output. Okay, so let's get into the last part of this example, which is looking at a graph. And so when you're looking at a graph for a piecewise function, you'll notice it's very like jagged sometimes, or it looks like, um, like you have different pieces of a linear equation. So notice that this here is a horizontal line, but then there is a positive line or a positive slope and then a negative slope. So it's like they took three different linear equation or three different line equation cut them into certain pieces that they wanted and then stick them together. It's kind of like a Frankenstein. Piecewise function is basically a Frankenstein of linear functions um, or any type of function put together. So in this case, what we're asked to do is we're given the X value and we need to figure out where on the graph is the Y value. So if this case we have X equals negative four, we're gonna to go to the x-axis, go to negative four, and on the graph here, it looks like it hits about right here on our curve or our piecewise function, and that value there is negative three. So my y value is negative three, and that's it. And so same thing for the other ones, you're gonna get the x value, so x is equal to one. The y value on the piecewise function is right here, which is going to be two. And then the next part here, it says F is three. So X is three here. So we're gonna go to three and looks like it's hitting right here where the piecewise function is sitting, which is where Y is equal to zero since it's the X axis, Y there would be zero. So F of three is zero. 
And then last but not least, we're looking for 5. So when x equals 5, the piecewise function hits right there. And that y value right there is negative 2. And then that's it. All right, so I hope you found this helpful. Try out the practice problems down below to um, work on the skills that we just learned. Bye, guys.